hopelessness, despair, filth, and neglect. These fuzzy black and white photos, taken clandestinely in the back wards of state mental institutions in 1965, painted a searing portrait of how people with mental retardation were warehoused and uncared for in the most hellish of circumstances. Later published under the title, Christmas in Purgatory, this project was the brainchild of Burton Black, an academic and special education professor who wanted to find out firsthand the real living conditions in institutions. His first reactions and continuing reactions till he was through with the shooting was disgust and despair. He would come home very depressed. It took him a while to get rid of the memory. Christmas in Purgatory eventually became a seminal work that lit the fires of reform. A case in point was the closing of Willowbrook State School in New York, one of the most abusive institutions in American recollection. Burton Blatt spent the rest of his life as an impassioned advocate for people with mental retardation. As a national leader in the field of special education, he fought for his basic belief that each person has value. The problem isn't the problem of our minds not being able to do the right thing. The problem is in our souls and in our values. Bert was someone who would never repudiate his idealism. His idealism was his most precious core. As a professor, and then dean of the School of Education at Syracuse University until his untimely death in 1985, Burton Blatt's radical ideas eventually became the accepted tenets of law and public policy for all types of disability issues. The notion that people ought to have access to education, uh, the notion that uh, people with disabilities ought to be able to live in the community, participate in every activity of the community life, that people ought to have opportunities for employment, uh, that children should be able to stay with their families. Bert Blatt stood for all those things. Today, at the forefront of the disability rights movement is the Burton Blatt Institute, headquartered at Syracuse University and anchored on the foundational work of Burton Blatt. Under the direction of Peter Blank, one of the nation's leading experts on disability rights, who has participated in cases from the Supreme Court on down, this premier international center is spearheading the drive for disability innovation and civil rights. The Burton Blatt Institute, in my view, is playing a central role in beginning to defragment the disability community. Because before Burton Blatt, there really has not been a unified, cohesive institute which focuses on economic, social, and civic empowerment. Because there are over 650 million people with disabilities in the world, of which 56 million live in the United States, many of us will eventually grapple with the challenges of disability, often unexpectedly. If you live a normal life, you ultimately are going to have limitations that could be defined as disabling and you will be experiencing similar issues uh, that the disabled community has faced their whole life. Often, we find in the disability world, the enlightenment comes when the disability strikes an individual either personally um, or through some direct contact with a family member, neighbor. To meet some of the needs of this huge contingent of people, the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 legislated sweeping reforms to help people with disabilities access the mainstream of society. However, the struggle for equal rights, accessibility, and inclusion is ongoing. I hope that in my lifetime, we'll see a world where people with disabilities will own homes, will go to meaningful jobs, will have affordable health care insurance, will be able to take a loan out at a bank, will be able to eat at any restaurant they want to eat at. Let those who are not handicapped know the opportunities. And they understand that these are people who can, not only we can do the right thing by them, but they can genuinely help build the community. To practically impact the economic, social, and civil rights of people with disabilities, the Burton Blatt Institute has created a growing global network of centers. These are powered by professionals who will advance the cause in law, public policy, education, and technology, as well as business, media, and the arts. 
also unprecedented, is BBI's location within a major university, where it is already working with faculty and students across all disciplines to build the next generation of disability leaders. Having the backing of an institution with the legacy of Syracuse, with the legacy of Burton Blatt, lends a tremendous uh, amount of legitimacy uh, that has been lacking in the area of disability statistics and policy research. BBI is just a perfect example of scholarship in action. It's really taking to the world, to our community, uh, through the disciplines across our campus, an issue that is so important to the future of this world. I'm an intern at the Burton Blatt Institute. Working there has really opened my eyes into the world of disabilities. I have a few friends with mental disabilities and someday would hope to go into that field to help people. Forty years ago, Burton Blatt helped start a revolution in disability civil rights and together with Syracuse University, authored a page of American history. At the beginning of this new century, it is happening again. With an open invitation, BBI invites everyone to share in the dream by supporting its global mission of opening the world to the tremendous potential of people with disabilities, change can happen. There are still mountains to climb. There's still attitudes to change. It's important that we all work together to make a better community for everyone. I think if I learned uh, one key thing from Bird is, is that uh, it's the obligation of uh, all mankind to uh, help those uh, that uh, need the help. If we can pursue the mission of economic, social, and civic empowerment for people with disabilities, then Burton Blatt's legacy will be preserved and his dream for a better world for people with disabilities will become a reality. As people with disabilities step out of society's dark corners and into the light of acceptance, achievement, and hope, their stories become beacons for us all, for in the end, it is BBI's vision that our world becomes a place where each person, regardless of circumstance, has innate value. Bert once wrote, Believe for a moment that you are more than your brother's keeper. Believe that while on earth, you are his savior, and he is yours. <laughs>